Welcome to Moodle Gradebook 3.2. One of the new additions to the gradebook is the default method for calculating grades, which is now something called natural aggregation. This video demonstrates how natural aggregation works and demonstrates several other new features we think teachers will appreciate. It assumes you already have a basic familiarity with gradebook. If you are new to gradebook or need help with any of the new features shown here, please email help at brynmar.edu to set up a consultation. Notice that the aggregation setting for this category is set to natural, which is now the default grade calculation method, and replaces the old sum of grades calculation method. Natural aggregation allows you to indicate how much each item in a particular category contributes to the total grade for that category, and Moodle automatically adjusts for those weights when calculating the overall grade. To see how this works, let's go to the gradebook setup page. Notice that there is a weights column, and a max grade column. The numbers in the weights column represent percentages of the course grade. The max grade is the total points possible for that item, which you set when you are setting up the activity. For example, in the reading response category, we have two items, one with a maximum possible grade of 10 points, and the other with a maximum grade of 30 points. By default, with natural aggregation, Moodle will automatically weight the items in the category according to the number of points each contributes to the category total. So here, the Mulvey reading response is worth 10 out of the 40 points in the category, or 25% of the total reading response grade. And the Corrigan reading response is worth 30 out of the 40 points, or 75% of the reading response grade. A student who earned 9 out of 10, or 90%, on the first response assignment, and 20 out of 30 on the second response, or 67.7%, would in this case earn a 29 out of 40, or a 72.5%, since the grade for the second response is weighted more heavily. But let's say you want both responses to be worth half of the reading response grade, even though each is worth a different number of points. You can adjust this by changing the amount in the weights column to 50% and 50%. Make sure to save your changes. Now, Moodle will calculate the grade that the student earns on each response assignment, and then weight them equally when calculating the overall grade for the category. So, a student who receives 9 out of 10 and 20 out of 30 would now earn 78.3% of the total points for the category, or 31 out of 49. You can also use natural aggregation to give students extra credit for a grade item. To turn an item into an extra credit item while in the gradebook setup, click on Edit next to the grade item and select Edit Settings from the drop-down menu. On the Edit Settings page for the grade item, check the Extra Credit checkbox and then save your changes. For an example of how this all works with actual grades, let's go to the Grader Report, which allows you to view and edit the grades your students receive from completing the various course activities. Here we have two items, the Film Project and the Kazan assignment, in the same category. The maximum grade for the Film Project is 100 points. We've set up the Kazan assignment as an extra credit item, worth a maximum of 20 points. If a student receives an 85 on the film project and earns the full 20 extra credit points for the Kazan assignment, then they will earn 100 points for the category total, since the total for the category is 100 points. Note that they can still use other grading aggregation methods, mean, median, mode, highest, lowest, etc. And they work as they did in earlier versions of Moodle. This has been a quick overview of natural aggregation in the new Moodle gradebook. For more info on the gradebook, please check out our tech documentation. If you have any questions or need help setting up your gradebook, please email help at to set up a Moodle consultation. We're always happy to help, and thanks for listening!